Are these delicious? Yo, of course. <laughs> Welcome to Chopstick Travel, I'm Luke Martin and today I am deep in the Borneo rainforest on the Kinabatangan River. This place is known for having some of the highest concentrations of wildlife in the entire world. And the plan for today is to go out with one of the local fishermen. We're gonna hopefully catch some fish, maybe even uh, trap some prawns, and then later on we're gonna cook it up in a traditional Malaysian style. And of course we're also gonna do a little bit of wildlife sightseeing. It's gonna be a great episode so make sure you stay tuned until the end. Let's go fishing. So it is bright and early and I'm heading out uh, with my guide here, Nelson. He's going to be helping us hopefully catch some fish and this river, the Kinabatangan River, is uh, known for having quite a lot of saltwater crocodiles among other animals. So they're known for being extra aggressive, the saltwater species. And actually just last week apparently a villager was actually killed and eaten again. So it's actually a common story. Okay, so you use the bottles. And what's that? Some hot sausage. dogs? Sausage. Ah. <laughs> so the fish in the river like the sausages. Yes. Out. Eat a bit. Okay, a little piece of sausage. Got some hooks there. Hooks. And they're just tied onto the bottle. Yeah. Okay, so it's like a little float. And throw. It's just like any other float fishing technique except very simple, just using the bottle, a little piece of line and sausage, but uh, it does the job apparently. It took your sausage? Yeah. You said sometimes the crocodile will take the fish if it yep. if it gets caught on the yes. line. Yeah, they will chase the the fish. Really? <laughs> ah, yeah. Small. Small one. Yeah. What kind of fish is that? This we call patin. Patin. Yeah. Yeah. And you need to be careful this one because they have a shop here, a shop oh, here. Oh yeah. yeah. So is this what you're trying to catch, but it's just yeah, a little small? but small. Oh, okay. So... Put it back? Yeah. See how sharp it is? Yeah, wow. Ooh. So we did catch something, a little bit too small to keep. So bottles back in, new sausage. Did he take your sausage? Already. Oh yeah, okay. Now we wait again. This rainforest surrounding the Kinabatangan, you can find all kinds of uh, unique species of animals. Uh, the smallest elephant in the world, pygmy elephant, there's orangutans, proboscis monkeys, um, hornbills, there's even leopards, clouded leopards that live in here. So later today we'll take a little uh, cruise to do some wildlife spotting and of course crocodiles as well. So no luck quite yet. We did catch that one small one, but we're gonna head upstream now and Nelson has already set some prawn traps. So we're gonna pull up his traps and maybe do a little bit more fishing up there.
Jadi udah besar Ini kan pasti lagi cepat We're looking for this size? Yes. Are these delicious? Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah, that's a good size. Oh, wow. So is that a good size or? Good size. Good size, good size. yeah. Weak. Okay. So this other fisherman here has had a little bit more success than us. He's got a nice size marble goby here. Look at that and uh, a couple of big prawns too. Woohoo! Okay, we've arrived at our trap now. We're gonna pull it up and hopefully have a similar result as the other fishermen there. Here's our spot right here. Just little one. Just little one. Some little fish. So we open that. Yeah. And like this, you see. Oh, that's yeah. what we're going for. Wow. So this we use a coconut oh. to do bait. Yeah? For bait, coconut. Okay. Coconut. So they love eat the coconut. Right? Oh wow! So that's yeah. the one they've already eaten. Yes. And we close them again. Let's throw it. Yeah. So Nelson just set a trap uh, in the freshwater here in the river. This is what we're going for, freshwater prawns. This one's just a small one? Yeah, we're gonna find more. Okay, we're gonna find more. So we're gonna go up river and uh, pull up some more traps. So unfortunately no luck on the traps. Uh, we're gonna head into the jungle and uh, pick some ferns to cook up with our meal later on today. Those prawn traps have been rebaited with some more coconut, so we're gonna leave them for a little bit and head into the jungle here in search of fern. Jung what are we looking for? F what kind of fern is it? Jungle fern, okay. This little trail right here is actually elephant trail. What's this? This is the jungle fern. This is the fern, okay. Okay. So, can you eat it raw or you have to cook it? Cook it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this one? Yes. Can I pick it? You just pick the young one. Just the top part? Yeah. Like this long. Okay. Like that? Yeah. This is no joke. This is deep in Borneo's rainforest and uh, you gotta be super careful. Keep your voice down because you do not want to come across an elephant, although that would be incredible. Um, they're very, very dangerous and actually I think just last year an Australian tourist was killed by one of the elephants. Having a bit of luck, not doing as well as Nelson's doing, but this is just such a cool experience to be out here in the jungle. It's almost like everything here is meant to kill you. I heard a lot of stories before coming out here of pythons swallowing people whole, crocodiles eating villagers, tourists getting trampled by elephants. So it's uh, peaceful, but at the same time, you're kind of on edge the whole time. Here. <laughs> Let's compare. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was pretty cool. Just amazing how much, uh, if you know where to look, how much uh, food you can find because we found a lot of that fur.
Empty. So what is this? This is a casting net. Casting net? Yeah. Okay, so what, you're catching small fish? Small uh, fish, small fi fish, yeah. and the prawns too. Oh really, with this? Yeah. So Nelson's got this fish net. It's a traditional style. He's gonna throw it in the water. And uh, it's another form of fishing, opposed to the just the bottles. So, let's see. Couple little fish. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Lice fish? Yeah. So Nelson did have a little bit of luck on that uh, net throw. Surprisingly, caught the, these little lice fish. They're actually full grown. We not keep this one, yeah? No. This one we let them free. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Circle already, yeah? Yeah, and I so you go swing front. Yeah. yeah. You have swing and shoo. All right, Nelson's yeah. teaching me how to throw this. I think this is gonna go pretty bad, but let's try. Yeah. Which way, this way? This way. <laughs> no. It's, it's hard. It slipped right out of my hand. Do it again, wrong. Let's try it again. You throw wrong. Yeah, I know. You throw like this. No, you throw like this. Oh, In oh, different oh, way. oh. So I threw it the wrong way the first time. Let's try this again. That was better. <laughs> nope. Oh, it's heavy though. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that was cool. That's harder than it looks. Wow, that's some serious technique. So Nelson just did another throw, net throw, and caught a lot of fish, but this is not uh, the same lice fish that we caught earlier, so these ones we're not gonna keep. But we saw them jumping out of the water quite a bit. Why were they jumping out of the water, Nelson? They they come out from the Oxbow Lake. Oh, because they come out of the lake. To the ground, mm -hmm. hole. I can feel so many. Ooh, not this one. Well, that was a lot of fun. We didn't have the most luck fishing, but luckily for us, the fisherman that we did come across was kind enough to give us his marble goby and prawn. So we're gonna clean up and then meet back up with Nelson to have lunch, uh, all that fresh uh, jungle fern that we found and the goby and the prawns. What is the name of the dish that you're cooking? This one is uh, Asham Padas fish. Asham Padas? Yeah. yeah. Asham Padas, Asham Padas. okay. So we've got this beautiful little setup here at the Built It Adventure Lodge, right on the bank of the river. And uh, Chef here is preparing first the marble goby. You can see right here, we've got all the ingredients. There's the jungle fern, the uh, prawns that we caught, and then the Marble goby. Well, we didn't actually catch them, but <laughs> that's the secret. <laughs> Three leaves? Yeah. So the style we're gonna cook the fish is a sampadas, where you've got uh, garlic and shallots, and uh, ginger, some chilies, 
some curry leaves, and then we just put some anise in there. Looks like uh, maybe some lemongrass as well. Some sambal? Yeah. Chili, chili. Chili sambal, yeah. Next up, add a little bit of tamarind with some water. So the fish goes into that beautiful, rich red gravy and cooks away, and now it's time to cook the prawns. For the base of the prawns, it's pretty much the same ingredients. It's gonna be a sambal prawns, and those things look huge. They've got these big blue arms and fat uh, tails on them. It's the beak. They're huge. So the fish and the prawns are finished and we've also got some eggplants directly right on the fire. And we're also cooking a fern, right? Yeah. yeah, the fern that we picked earlier. So, a couple dishes today. Like that. It's hot. <laughs> I bet. Oh, it's good. <laughs> After that eggplant's been roasted on the fire and the skin taken off, it comes really, really soft. And then uh, a little bit of chili and some tomato in the mortar and pestle, and then just top that uh, really mushy eggplant. And now we're gonna cook the last one, the jungle fern that we picked earlier today. You know what that? Yeah. It's right. Dried shrimp, yeah? yeah. So for the jungle fern, with just a little bit of garlic and some shallots and some dried shrimp, stir fried with some water, and I think that's everything. We're ready to eat. All right, Nelson and I are sitting down after. Uh, Long morning on the river, yeah. fishing. <laughs> we weren't so lucky this morning, but luckily uh, Nelson's got good friends that were able to hook us up. So you're gonna show me how to eat these, all right? All right. Yeah, okay, they're really sharp like on the outside. See? Yeah. yeah. Oh, what? And oh, wow. You pull it. Perfect. So little... this one already dip with meat, and you can pull like this. Okay. That's the meat already. Oh, wow. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're sharp. Mm -hmm. You're good at this, I can tell you've done this before. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Wow. See, so it came up perfectly. Then pull like that. Pull this part out? Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. Yum. Mm. Mm. Really got a nice bouncy texture to it. So this one's called Asam Pedas. Asam Pedas, yes. I'll go in for one chunk here. Put it in my rice. Oh, man. That looks beautiful. I gotta put some extra sauce. Should I go in with my fingers? Yeah. Yeah? All right. This is what I've been waiting to try. Mm. It's a little bit spicy and a little bit sour and really fresh fish. Nelson was telling me a story this morning 
that you grew up near the the ocean, right? Mm -hmm. And he and then when he moved inland to the river, he wasn't used to eating the river fish, and you That's couldn't right. even handle it. That's but right. Now he loves it, and uh, I love it too. <laughs> mm. All right, I'm gonna go in for one of these. Pull this part off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. There we go. Keep the head first. Keep the head? Yeah. Open it right up. Oh, he's already cut it, so I can open it like this. Yeah, wow. There we go. Pull there that we in. Go. Wow. Oh, man. Those are big for coming from the river. I wouldn't expect those to be down there, but they are. Let's try that. Hmm. Wow. That is phenomenal. <laughs> It's got a really bouncy texture, I love it. Pull it, yeah. Pull this part yeah. back, yeah. Mm hmm That's it. This part oh, here? Yeah. The fatty head part? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The fat. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. It's so creamy. It's just a little bit spicy, but it's really just a natural flavor. Yum. So this is the jungle fern that we foraged earlier. Mostly Nelson foraged for me. Stir fry with a little bit of um, dried shrimp, garlic. I'm gonna go with my fork and spoon for this one. Let's try that. Mm -hmm. That's great. You can taste the dried shrimp in there. It reminds me of fiddleheads, which we have in Canada. It's another type of fern. You can only pick it when it's young. Otherwise, if it grows up, it becomes poisonous. Oh. Yeah, so similar, but not from the jungle. <laughs> and last up, the eggplant with a little bit of tomato on top. This is one of my favorite things in the entire world, eggplant, so I'm excited to try this one out. So spicy. That one is the spiciest for sure. Raw chilies in there. Very smoky eggplant and then tart tomatoes. Wow. Thank you for helping me out today. No problem, sir. <laughs> Couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> These lags are probably my favorite part. They're really sharp though, so you gotta be careful. But they, sometimes they come out really easy. Let's see if I can do one. This part doesn't have a lot of meat in it, but this part does. Just use the tissue so I don't cut myself. There we go. Open that up. That should be a perfect little prawn nugget. Look at that. Perfect extraction. Mm. What an experience today has been. Forging, catching our food, catch and cook style and a beautiful, beautiful setting. So we're gonna take a little bit of a break and then this evening, head out for a wildlife spotting cruise on the river here. I just learned a bit of funny news. I was calling that a marble goby all day long, but in fact, that was a catfish. <laughs> I was wrong because I knew that Marble Gobi, Gobi is famous from this river, uh, but our guide Nelson, he didn't know the name in English. I thought it was a Marble Gobi, but it was a catfish. Still good?
enjoyed the cruise this afternoon. Yeah, I hope you like it. And it was amazing activity, amazing view. Thank you to our captain. Just got back from our wildlife sightseeing tour and that was absolutely incredible. We were super lucky to see two different groups of pygmy elephants and all kinds of different other things. We saw hornbills, crocodiles, proboscis monkeys, macaques, and the highlight was certainly seeing the elephants. I know you can see elephants in Thailand, you can see them in zoo or whatever, but to see a wild elephant is seriously a special experience and to see it playing in the water and the Bornean elephants are pygmy elephants, they're the smallest in the world, so extra special to see them, especially from the boat, you get a really unique perspective. That was such an incredible experience. You have to do it on your trip to Saba, come to Kinabatanga and you can check out the Built It Adventure Lodge. Wow, just so incredible. Make sure if you haven't already subscribed, hit the bell icon so you're notified when I post the next episode and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.